First, decide on a site location. Start by establishing a straight line. Here we used the fence for the 40 foot eave side we marked 15 foot off the fence. Now, place a mark on the ground whatever the length of your building is. Here it's 40 feet so place a mark at each end. You will now need 12 stakes 3 foot long and 8 batter boards cut 2 feet long. Lay out your batter boards 1 foot off the 2 marks you have on the ground as shown. Now drive the stakes in the ground firmly. If they are not firm, your string will move. Next, place a pencil mark on the stakes out halfway up. Now extend the tape measure vertically and look through the transit and lock it in on an easy number to remember. I use 60. Now, place the top of the batter board on the pencil mark and place one screw in that side. Now using a long level place a screw in the other side once batter board is level. Next line the second batter board upright beside the first one and place one screw in that side. Again use the level and place a screw in the board once leveled. First batter board is complete. Now, place stakes on the other side of the mark. Use the transit and when the crosshairs are at 60 place a mark on the stake. Follow same steps placing batter boards up level. Now run a string from your first set of boards to your second. Now, place a nail in both marks and pull it very tight and tie it off. On the side closest to the transit place a mark on the string. Now use a tape measure and mark on the string 40 foot from the first mark on the string. Now, use a framing square and hold one end on the mark you just put on the string. Then place a pencil mark on the board. Now, drive a nail in that mark. Tie one end of the string to the nail and pull the string out one foot past the 20 foot mark. Have someone verify the string crosses the mark you put on it. Now drive your stakes in firmly. With your tape vertical have the transit person direct up or down until 60 is in the crosshairs. When it is marked the stake. Now, follow the steps for leveling up the batter boards. Again. Have someone on the other end by the last nail, and make sure the string is touching the 40 foot mark you placed on the string, when it is marked on the batter board. Now drive a nail in that mark and pull string tight, and tie it off. Now from the other end of the string, where you marked with a pencil. Hold the end of the tape and measure 20 feet, and place another mark there. Be exact. Next, use the framing square placing one end on the last mark you placed on the string, and place a mark on your batter board, and drive a nail on that mark. Now tie a string to the nail. Okay, now pull the string out to about 41 feet off your last string mark, so you can see around about where the batter boards will need to go. Now drive your stakes. Look through the transit and place mark on the board at the bottom of the tape measure when the crosshairs hit 60. Follow previous instructions on leveling boards. What they're doing here is measuring over from the first string they put up and marking 20 foot on the batter board. Then, put a nail on that mark and tie the string tight to it. Here you will know how close you are to being square, because the last mark you put on the string should be lined up perfectly now without the spotter. Now mark 40 foot on that string. marks on both of the long sides, so go ahead and line them up and mark them and nail them off. Now tie the string tight ensuring your string is hitting both of the marks perfectly. Finally all the batter boards and strings are up and level. 
We are now ready to check our work. If the batter boards are square, then the measurements from corner to corner diagonally should be the same. If not, you have to start over. If it's not much, you may be able to bump nails over slightly. We got it right. We are now ready to mark the string for the rest of the posts. From the corner, mark 10 feet on the string. This will be the center of your next post. Also, place a mark on the ground to aim your auger bit. Now, measure 10 more feet. Mark the string for the center of your post and the ground. And same thing once again. The last mark to the corner should be 10 feet. Now repeat the steps for the other side starting from the same end. Make sure to dig your holes deep. We require 4 feet deep for all of our buildings. It is also necessary to put a concrete block at the bottom of each hole. It needs to be wider than your post. Now, put all your posts in the holes. Be careful not to push so much dirt back in them. Starting in the corner, set your first post. This post needs to be level on all sides and just short of touching your string. When it's level, pack some dirt mixed with quick dry concrete. Fill the hole about a quarter of the way up then check the post again. If it's still good pack it very tight. Fill it halfway up and check it then continue packing it. Now, fill the hole up three quarters and pack it again. Then fill it all the way up and pack it tight. If you think you've done it good enough, pack it more. Make sure each post gets two bags of concrete. Now set the next post the same way. The center of the post should be on the mark you placed on the string. Make sure the post is level and packed tight. These guys pack it very tight and are able to set trusses and purlins on the same day. Taking the time to square and level the building will ensure an easier installation. We did not use any concrete on this building because it is a display and will be removed and replaced soon. If you would like to see how to add concrete please watch the run in shelter video or others. Now, mark each post with a pencil and a speed square exactly where the string hit the post. Measure up from the string or that mark to your desired eave height. Mark it and cut off the posts. You can now remove the batter boards. Please use extreme caution. Have someone hold the ladder. All of our posts are set, and we are now ready to assemble and install the trusses. Again, please be very careful and watch all of the videos of us installing this building before you decide to do it yourself. We will not be responsible for any injuries or mistakes.